displayed in better conditioning, not fuller. And he would like, I don't like, no, 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 he no, was, he was, no, no. he had fat on his oh, back. And he... So there's Guy Cincinnato saying that Rafa had fat on his back still, which was very clear from the, the video, from the photos. That's why you don't see Rafa posting many, if any photos of him from the back. They're all front shots. Go to his Instagram right now and try and find a back shot from the uh, Arnold Classic Brazil. Not going to find it. There's a reason for that. He was fat. He was fat. No, fat. I, so that's what I'm saying. He had... so. Nick Walker always also saying he was fat from the back. Do not try to be, okay, rude. I'm not putting it out there like Nick Walker is saying he's fat. He's just, there was still fat tissue on the back side of Rafael Brandeo. Well, I'm getting to a point. So everybody praised Rafa for how much size he put on. But then the argument is, well, how much size did he really put on if he was still holding that much fat on his back? All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord. And I wanted to come on here quick and do a reaction video to the video that uh, Guy Cicernito, Nick Walker, and Jose Raymond just put out today, April 16th. So this will probably air tomorrow when I post this. But, you know, they touched on the Rafa and Tony Burton kind of feud. And they also touched on, you know, their opinion and their thought on, you know, who should, act, should have actually won the 2024 Arnold Classic Brazil. And th these are prominent guys in industry. They're all IFBB pros, you know, and so you have more people coming out now saying how they actually feel about what happened at this show. And then we can further chime in on, you know, the judging criteria and the inconsistencies that we're seeing from show to show and what are the judges actually looking for. And then also I want to chime in on me potentially talking with a particular head judge and having him on the show and that, those are some questions i'm going to ask this person is what is the what is the look what is the guideline that you're trying to follow for these top level shows right so let's jump into this you know what works i let it play and then i stop and i react and kind of chime in on what they're saying and what's going on with uh raphael and, and tony oberton well, well, so, 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 don't fuck with the Brazilians, bro. You know that. All right, don't fuck with the Brazilians right there. There, Nick Walker lays it out. What are you doing? I'm going to Instagram. Uh, what is this shit? I got to say, the guy, he's really slow at getting to the right, to the right pages. Let it go. Oh, he really? went. He went fucking in, bro. Like, yeah, he did. He talking about how Tonio clogged his toilet. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, I let you and your team in to train, even though you clogged my toilet. And was there any you having clogged my toilet or posing your underwear? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I want to be on that show. It's it's a great show. Tonio rebuttal too, you know. Yeah. It so this is what him. this is what he said, right? This is what triggered this. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe what both of us sum up what Tonio said is Raphael was gonna win the show regardless of how he looked. <laughs> so 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 let's touch on that because I, I wanna right. hear your guys' thoughts. So I I have known Rafa for a long time. I, I consider myself a good buddy of Rafa's. I have seen Rafa in superb conditioning. Not everybody gets it right. Well, oh, he said that. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that. Have if you had, if, if you had someone like Steve or Tyler judging, he's not making a call with the conditioning. He has lumps in his glutes. <laughs> oh, okay, that's just what he said. So yeah, he went bro. Oh well, here, right? Oh, he basically said the fans dictated who won. But he, he. he Tonio was not playing, bro. Listen, I... Again, thanks to my interview with Tonio Burton, all that information came out. Tonio laid it on the line and gave us his true opinion, and that got a lot of clapback. But at the end of the day, these guys, you're going to hear, 
have their opinion on actually who they think should have won this show. Rafflet has a, an amazing shape and it's better displayed in better conditioning, not fuller. And he would like, I don't like, no, 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 no. he was, he was, no, no. he had fat on his back. Oh, and he... So there's Guy Cicernino saying that Rafa had fat on his back still, which was very clear from the, the video, from the photos. That's why you don't see Rafa posting many, if any photos of him from the back. They're all front shots. Go to his Instagram right now and try and find a back shot from the uh, Arnold Classic Brazil. Not going to find it. There's a reason for that. He was fat. No, I, so that's what I'm saying. He had... so. Nick Walker always also saying he was fat from the back. They're not trying to be, okay, rude. I'm not putting it out there like Nick Walker is saying he's fat. He's just, there was still fat tissue on the back side of Rafael Brandeo. Well, I, I'm getting to a point. So everybody praised Rafa for how much size he put on. But then the argument is, well, how much size did he really put on if he was still holding that much fat on his back and his boots? Because Rafa's been peeled. We've seen him peeled. He, that was very far off. He, I, he looked better at the order. He did. Agreed. And honestly, I, I thought it was between... I, I would have given it to Vito, but it, if it would have... Now, that's interesting that Guy Cincinnati says he would give it to Vito. Uh, I, I don't think so. Uh, Vito was flat in the upper chest area, didn't hit his poses properly, and didn't display his physique properly, and that counts in bodybuilding. So you got to give Tony o credit. He, he He's posing better. Still, he's improved on some of his poses, but he posed better than uh, good Vito. And I thought did well more, did more than enough to to beat out Good Vito. Went to um, Anton. I wouldn't have. It, it could have. You could have flipped. I, I, I had. I had Tony winning. See, I, I. So Nick Walker clearly has Tony winning, uh, and I agree with Nick on this one. And and I just had Vito because I thought they were both peeled. I thought Vito looked a little bigger from the back in the back shot. Here's well, so, so if we're but Tony has got a crazy uh, physique. I think he, he could have won it too. If, if, if you're gonna if we're gonna compare Tony with. Vito, I think, from the back, as far as detail, conditioning, and all that ish about, Vito wins that shit. That's where okay. But I, I think if you're gonna go for like an overall pleasing, well balanced, conditioned, hardness, fullness, all that ish about look, I'm gonna go Tonio. Agreed. So regardless, we all agree you would have Rob in third. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See. They're all agreeing that Rafa should have been in third place in this show. That's how far off the judging is here. Now, the judges have their opinion. They were at the show. We weren't. They were front row. We weren't. So we have to give them that. But at the end of the day, we do see the high quality photos now. We see the high resolution video. And it was pretty clear that Rafa was not on the money here. Okay, he was he looked good from the front, but he wasn't great from the front. He was not good from the back, right? And a lot of shows are won from the back, and he definitely lost from the back. And then he had subpar conditioning from the front. So it's just like, did did Rafa get a gift here because he was in Brazil? And people are gonna say, well, no, because other bodybuilders that are from different countries have won the Arnold Classic Brazil before. So they use that as an excuse, as a as a defense against that, you know, saying, well, only Brazilian bodybuilders are going to get, you know, bias to treatment in Brazil. I think sometimes maybe it does happen. And I think it might have happened in, in this instance. Yeah. Yeah. So Tonio's not wrong in what he's saying. A lot of times uh, when, when you speak the truth, it's hard for people to listen to. Agreed with that sentiment. Uh, I speak the truth a lot on my channel, and I get a lot of clap back from people in the comments that just don't want to hear it. They're like, "Oh, Matt, you're you're too negative. You're too negative." I know. I'm, what What do you mean negative? I'm just talking factual things here, guys. And if it's because I'm talking factual things about the bodybuilder that you like, well, then too bad. Right. I'm not a fanboy. I'm not just going to say good things about everybody. And it's not about saying good things or bad things. It's just talking and critiquing their physiques. And when I po point out something about Raphael Brandeo that I can, 
can clearly see he wasn't in shape to win that show, as Tony O'Burton was saying, don't get upset about it. It hurts. Yeah, because a lot of people don't say it. You know, well, Jose, I, there were there were shows I say that it. like that I was off, that that you said I was off. There were shows that Nick said I didn't look like that you can't get mad if you don't look good, but you also exactly. should get a gift if you I mean that was one I, I glad as you can find out the look. I don't want to go Tony. So regardless, we all agree you would have Rob in third. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Tonio's not wrong in what he's saying. A lot of times, uh, when, when you speak the truth, it's hard for people to listen to. It is re rewind, yeah, Mister. A lot of people don't say it. Let it play through it. Rewind it for some reason. Like that, I was off. That that you said I was off. There were shows that Nick said I didn't look like. You can't get mad if you don't look good, but you also shouldn't get a gift. If you, I mean, that was one I, that just I don't know look, look, who judged just, the, who was the head judge. I don't think Tamer, I think Tamer. Tamer was but here's the thing, guy. There's there's a thing about you, you came in a little off. Yes, I, I don't think Raphael was off. I just don't think my man was in full shape. I agree. Off. You agree because being off. Means you're all because you're ready, you just miss that during peak week. Agreed, yep. Like, you, you, whatever, because you could look like three days prior, like, oh, shit, like you're about to win this, motherfucker. yep. And then you get on stage, and you're like, oh, damn, yep. you, you missed it, yep. Where if you're just not fully in shape, then you can't miss it, you just weren't there, exactly. Like, if you have like a, a film of water over you, or you're holding a little on your lower back, or you're flat, or maybe you over carved, like. Everybody can still see that you're peeled through yeah. that. You're just not where you should be, right? So, yes. but he literally had like six weeks of dieting to go to, to get peeled. Yeah. I it, knew a few days prior to the show when they announced the, they leaked these photos and Raphael's 267 pounds. I'm like, if he's 267, he's going to be way off. And he, sure enough, it blows my mind. I agree, but it blows my mind because Duke, like, the way he looked at the arm, like, all you had to do was just kind of diet for like another four weeks. Yeah. Like, yeah. What what the fuck did he do? I think Sorry. he purposely tried something different. Well, it didn't work. And and this was Rafa's response. It's not my fault if you, at your best, weren't able to beat me. You, at your maximum yeah. conditioning, still had no separation in, in your quads and hamstrings, no detail in the shoulders and chest, and competed with little muscle on you. Now, what do you guys... Tank, you gotta stop snoring, bro. My dog is fucking hammering snores out. Um, I gotta be, I gotta not, be honest because that that bothers me because it's like, so you know you were off as fuck. Yeah. And now you're gonna rub that in the. Face. You're gonna talk that shit. What does that mean? Like, dude. Like no. to me, I read that as Raphael knew he wasn't at his best. And the fact that you couldn't beat me while you're at your maximum conditioning, like it's like, well, what does that mean? And then you got a gift. I'll tell you what, I, I I agree with Tonio. If this were the Olympia, Tonio would have beaten him. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Absolutely agree. Because the, yeah, I, I you would have had Steve judging. Okay, and you can't fuck around with Steve. You got to be in shape. You know, you saw that with Hadi, Shupon, Samson, Dauda. The guy that's in shape is going to win, for the most part. I, there's a lot of things I could say, and and in that, I just don't know if I want it. Tony, oh, go ahead. About Tony, Tony is a little beast, bro. Yeah, he is. I, I love his physique. I think he's starting to look like Texas Jackson. The only, the only, the only problem with fucking Tony that I have. I, I can't form a rival with him. He's too nice. He doesn't talk shit. <laughs> uh, he's starting. <laughs> ah, not really. I like it. I like it. I think he can fix a couple poses. Well, he said he couldn't do the side stuff. Yeah, they talk about the poses a little bit. I want to see. They talk about. Yeah, judging by right. us. Right it was crazy. Yeah. 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 But I mean, like so, so you do so you you don't agree that the criteria might shift in one way or another depending on who the head judge. You don't think that's 
but I think it's just that because that's human error. So what, like, like, how do you go like, this is a sport where we're judged. We all know that we're judged by other humans. So to say there's no human error in here, there's not going to be some bias is, is false, right? Because it's just, even if you judge the show. Do you guys think there's bias in judging? Do you think these judges make mistakes sometimes? Do you think they get caught up in who they favor and they can't get around that and you end up seeing what happened in Brazil happen? When you have majority of, I think the majority of them were Brazilian judges. Now, I don't want to blame it on the judges, but I mean, the buck stops with them. And then, and, and not only that, you just had Guy Cincernino, Nick Walker, Jose Raymond all say that it looked like Rafa had six more weeks of dieting and that he has fat on his back and his glutes. And then Rafa won by six points. I think that's almost, that's a unanimous judging across the, across the board. It wasn't even, it wasn't three, two, six fucking points. Like how far off are we all just delusional? Is Are all these prominent bodybuilders and people in the industry delusional and thinking that Rafa should have got third and that he wasn't in shape and that he looked worse than he did in Ohio? And now you got to understand why Tony O'Burton's so pissed off. Like we have to hold these judges accountable for what they're doing because no one's going to take these shows serious. And they have to stick and be consistent to what they're doing show to show. You can't have a guy with flabby glutes and fat on his back be winning a, an Arnold Classic show. It doesn't make sense. At the end of the day, it's about conditioning. So you're going to have a little bias because of what you like, as am I, just how it is. So do you think that's okay? Do you think it shakes things up a little bit? And, but I, I, I think the only issue is is it confuses the competitors as to what the judges are looking for. Because now you might have guys exactly. on a later show show up full as a house with less conditioning. They're like, well, that's what Rafa brought the fuck in the Arnold and he, and he won. Like at the end of the day, every athlete should know they should be, should be shooting for ultra conditioning. And then what, however your physique looks with that conditioning is the way it is. You know, when Hadi Chupan comes in ultra condition, the physique is the way it looks. And he wins that way. Derek Lunsford comes in ultra sh shredded from the back, works for him. Right? So we can go down the, the, the board with that throughout all the Olympians. Phil Heath, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Dexter Jackson, Sean Roden. Okay, they all ultra shredded. Conditioning, conditioning, conditioning. If they're not conditioned, they're not winning. But now it seems to be some guys can win shows when they're just, meh, they're not that tight from the back a la Samson Dauda at the Arnold Classic against Nick Walker, where Nick Walker was shredded, still big, and lost to Samson Dauda, who was a less conditioned athlete on that stage. So what is the criteria? No, I, I'm okay with different judges liking different things. I um, just had a bad feeling going into I'm the I'm always going to come and feel no matter what. I don't care. Yeah, That's how it should be, bro. I, I can, I can proudly do. I'm proud of this. I can proudly say that every show you've done, you have literally brought impeccable condition. Conditioning, like every yeah. time, there hasn't been a show where you're like, ah, his condition could, could be better. No, you're you're fucking you're there every time. Not a lot of, and that's why I was kind of you know upset about uh, Keon Pearson winning the two twelve because he wasn't as conditioned as Clarita. Hell no. Night and day comparison there. But then they changed it up and they gave it to Keon Pearson. Oh, in their career. I thought the problem with that, I think conditioning is, I revert conditioning to suffering and I love to suffer. You know, if Matt was like, you know what, bro? I think we need to go go hearts for like a week. Let's see around. Yes. I'm like, let's do it, bro. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> let's get down to business. Because I know... That's because, I, like I said, I know I'm big enough. Like, I can probably afford to do something like that, and it wouldn't be detrimental to the look as long as, you know, we play, you know, okay, time to eat, where we play that game back and forth. But I, I, I like to suffer. I have no problem with suffering. Zero. 
All right, guys. So they're going to wrap it up there. That's the gist of it. I uh, wanted to chime in on having some of these more prominent bodybuilders and their reaction to Tony Burton and Rafa Brandeo. And you can see they didn't think Raphael should have won. And they're all, they're all, they all know Rafa. They're, they probably, you know, friends with him. They talked to him at the shows. They were like openly saying, you know, man, you shouldn't have won. You were, you were fat in the back. You looked six weeks out and you probably should have got third. Good Vito should have beat you. I think a lot of people saw Good Vito beating Rafa. But the Brazilian fans are just like, there's no way Rafa is losing this show. And they know in their hearts. You Brazilian fans know in your hearts when Rafa turned around, he was fat. He was fat in that back. There was rolls in that lower back. That's not a champion. That's not an elite professional athlete showing superior condition. That's a guy that messed up, had all the time in the world to tighten up from the Arnold Classic Ohio, and he didn't do it. And he didn't do it in front of a hometown crowd. But the judges were like, well, I shit, if we don't, man, there might be riots in the streets. I don't know. That's why I want to have a judge on and talk to him about this and set the record straight about what the criteria was for giving the reasoning to have Rafa win this show. And by such a large margin, okay? Th th you got to explain that. All right, guys, so leave a comment below. After hearing some more outbursts from some of the more prominent bodybuilders in the industry, do you agree with them? Are you starting to kind of come to realization that, yeah, Tony o definitely got robbed? That's got to hurt, man, to see that and to know, man, there's nothing I could have done. It was in Brazil. It was, it was preset. It was predetermined that they're going to give it to Rafa. And they did. End of story. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, please remember to subscribe, like, comment. I will see you on the next one. Love you guys. Peace.